Sarah, have you ever cheated? I definitely cheated. She belongs to the streets. How many times are we talking? Three. Florence. <laughs> Three times. Was it the same dude or a different dude? It was the same dude. It was the same. How long were you dating the dude that you cheated on? A year. Ooh, nice. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, the blunders unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I'm learning this truth. Shalom to all the Aki and pushing this truth in our sincerity and our honesty. This is the brother Baraki coming again with another lesson. You know, and basically recently, you know, I haven't really been in the best situations. You know, uh, I've been having a very, very severe neck pain recently. And, um, you know, just overall, I haven't really been in the best uh, situation. And um, I haven't been able to make as much videos, you know, and lessons as, as I would like to. But, you know, I just pray and hope you how about Shimei Oshai keep me in the spirit, okay, to continue to do his work, to endure to the end, hopefully, you know. So anyway, you know, let's get into the lesson now. The lessons are going to be about, you know, the video, you know, that you saw okay and that video shows the state of our people today okay how our people is celebrating being wicked our people is celebrating okay committing adultery okay and our women today man okay because you so-called negroes latinos and native americans are the israelites today okay and because of our wickedness we've been put into captivity which we are in today man that's why we're going through so much you know things okay that's how affecting our lives negatively okay that's why we're going through with these curses you know pertaining to um, Deuteronomy 28 from verse 15 on down okay you, you know the scripture says you know that if we you know disobey Jehovah Shimei Oshai okay by not following his last statutes and his commandments that we we're going to go through curses I know people are going through these curses today man okay and in this video we saw okay the woman okay and um, probably a Jude, uh, you know, a woman from the tribe of Judah, you know, she is, you know, celebrating, okay, being an adulteress, man, okay, she is talking about it as it's a, as if it's a good thing, that there's no shame, there's no shame in it, man, like she committed adultery and it's like, there's no shame in it, okay, she's celebrating her wickedness, okay, and uh, let me get a scripture, okay, because you know, um, a woman today, man, you know, us as a nation today is, is, is gone to the dogs, man. Like, we're, we're committing so much wickedness today. Okay, this is not the precept. We're committing so much wickedness today. Okay. Like, it's a good thing. Okay, this is um, Sirach uh, 26 verses 25. Okay, it says, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. And that woman is a shameless woman, man, okay, because she had no shame, okay, you know, when talking about what she done. Okay, the guy asked her if she's ever cheated, and the way she said three times, like it's a, three times, like it's an accomplishment, Okay. So it says a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, man. Okay? And nowadays we know what we call a female dogs today. You know, they, we call them bitch. Okay? That's what a female dog is. Okay? So in other words, okay, she's a bitch. In other words, man. Okay? Because she's shameless. Okay? This is a... Sirach 26 verses 26 A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all But she that dishonoreth him in her pride Shall be counted ungodly of all You see, so she did not honor her husband man She did not honor her man Okay She dishonoring, she dishonoring him by doing that And being so proud of it You know, talking about it in a video For the whole world to see Like it is an accomplishment And it shows the level of our people today Especially the level of the Israelite woman today, man. Okay. Um, so you can imagine, okay, the hell that her man is catching. Okay. 
Imagine the hell that man is catching. Okay? The wardom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. That's Sirach 26 verses 9. And if I look at these women today, you know that they're hoes, man. Okay? Just by how they look. You know, they got that thick makeup. You know, the blonde weave, the blonde wig. You know, the, 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 the long eyelashes. Okay? And, and you know, the, 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 <laughs> where that came from. The, 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 them, them eyelashes, man. Okay, they were called umbrellas because it was invented by a, a prostitute. Okay, because she basically she invented it so that when they were doing what they were doing, okay, and 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 and, and, the, and their client say like that ejaculates that that thing that will go in their eyes. Okay, so they 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 they, 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 they the, so she created umbrella, and now it is fashion. Okay, them thick eyelashes, man, them fake thick eyelashes. Okay. Therefore, hoes, man. So you can tell by just by how they look and their actions. Okay, don't don't make it any better, man. Okay. You know. So anyway, I'm gonna get um a few more precepts in Proverbs 31, and I'm gonna close it out. So this is Proverbs 31, uh, starting from verses um, 11. Okay, starting from verses 10. It says, Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Now, a virtuous woman today is very difficult to find. Very, very difficult to find. Okay, even the Israelite woman in the truth, there's not a lot of them in the truth now, man. There's not a lot of Israelite women in the truth sincerely trying to be the best woman they can be f for their man, okay? To please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. There's not a lot, man. Okay, so who can find a virtuous woman today? It's, it's, it's literally nearly impossible to find a virtuous woman today, okay? Because the wickedness, okay, that being pushed by these elites, okay, must go a woman, man. Okay, it's not easy to find that, man. Even in the truth, you know, there are literally only a few okay women that are actually in this truth sincerely, you know, um, and trying to be a very virtuous woman, trying to do good by their man to please the please the Lord. Okay, this is verses eleven. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he have no need of spoil. She will do good him. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. See, so a virtual woman would do good for her man. Okay? So that woman in the video was not a virtuous woman, man. Okay? And and that's why, you know, us in this truth, okay, we really want this kingdom to end so we can go back into the kingdom where we can have, you know, righteousness. Okay? So we can live in righteousness, man. Okay? So we can have a woman, a virtuous woman, man. Okay, that all the men are doing the will of the Lord and all the women are doing the will of the Lord. That's what we want. You know, we're not happy here, man. Okay, because the, the wicked is in rulership. Okay, so we're mourning right now. And that's a, let me actually get that precept. So this is um Proverbs 29 verses 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom. Okay, because the the the, is, the 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 children of Israel started with the elect, okay, are going to be ruling, okay, and the people are going to rejoice because there's not going to be any more war, there's not going to be any more wickedness and evil, okay. We're going to live in peace and happiness, okay, because the righteous are going to be in authority. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. Now we're mourning today. We're mourning at the state of our nation. We're mourning at the state of our people. We're mourning at the state of this kingdom. We want this kingdom to go. Okay, we're mourning at the suffering that our people are going through because of the wickedness. Okay, that's being pushed throughout the earth, man. Okay, we're sighing and we're crying, man. That's Ezekiel 9. Let me actually get that and then I'll close this lesson. This is Ezekiel 9. Okay, this is Ezekiel 9. Um, verses 4 and the Lord and anytime you see the Lord the word Lord there in full capitals is talking about the Heavenly Father 
so you know you know and the lord yahweh said unto him go through the midst of the city to the midst of jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof okay so that's what's that's what's going to happen to the elect okay and that mark is talking about the mark of exemption so there's two marks man. you have the mark of exemption okay and you have the mark of the bee where there's the karagma okay revelation 13 verse 16 and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of jerusalem and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof so that's going to be the elect where the elect are, are, are crying where we're, we're mourning we're upset about the state of this kingdom we're living in verses 5 and to the others he said in my hearing go ye after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity okay so if you're not if you are happy if you're happy to live in this kingdom if you're happy you know for the wickedness that's being put if you're happy that being wicked if you're happy taking part in wickedness if you're happy okay you know to, 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 to just exist in this wicked place and, and and for this kingdom to continue okay you're going to be destroyed because you are just not of the elect okay the elect is going to want to want this place to end because we know okay through the spirit of the power of the what's coming in the kingdom okay and this is not life man okay this is not life okay so the wicked are going to be destroyed but the elect are going to be delivered you know and that woman in the video okay she she's happy to be wicked you can clearly see it and she's rejoicing uh yeah three times uh like The eyes of the Lord is ten times brighter than the sun, or something like that. You know, let me see if I can get it because I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to um, watch the scriptures. Brighter sun. Let's see if it comes up. Um, or oh, ten thousand times, see, eh? ten thousand times. This is Sirach twenty-three verses nineteen. It says, "Such a man only fear the eyes of men." Knowing not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, considering the most secret parts. So you see, so some man are fearing about oh, what man is gonna do, what man's gonna see me do this and do that, but not knowing that okay, you might do something in secret, you might be wicked secretly, okay, but the, the, the Lord sees everything. Yahweh sees everything because the Lord, the eyes of the Lord are bright ten thousand times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men, considering the most secret parts. So there's no secret, okay? You know, there's there's nothing hidden when it comes to the Lord, man. The Lord sees everything, everything, man. Okay, and even even us in this truth, when we go off, you know, we know we go off. We have to repent, man. We can't just think, oh, let me continue just do what I'm doing, and I don't care because you know no one's seeing me. The Lord is seeing you, man. The Lord is seeing all of us. Okay, and this and this is something that we should understand. That's why we have to try to do the best we can, okay, to be to, to be righteous, man. Because at the end of the day, the Lord sees everything. Verse 20. He knew all things here ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them. Oh, the Lord sees everything. Okay. The Lord sees everything. You know. So I'm gonna end it here. You know, hope it was edifying. You know, with that I'm gonna say all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I'm learning this truth. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.